The big picture here is about improving quality of care. We need to innovate ways of delivering that care to deal with the resource constrained healthcare system that we and everyone throughout the world exists within. So all started from a quality improvement project that happened in the neuroscience uh, directorate of the OUH Trust uh, and that was user-led quality improvement. We identified that referrals to our service was a problem area and so with the support of a, an academic team, a human factors research team, we, we developed a proposal to put in place a system to manage these referrals in a different way and that project became ORS. ORS really has the potential to supersede the existing informal ad hoc referral systems which we've been using for a long time. ORS is a way of patients being referred through an electronic portal that documents the information that's given, the discussions that are had and the advice that's received at the end of the process. It's about fitting the task to the human, not fitting the human to the task. And so what we really wanted to design was something that was usable for the clinicians wherever they might be in the hospital. We needed to make sure that our system could be used in that whole variety of environments to be useful for the clinicians and safe for patients. The fact that all the necessary information is in one package, it really improves patient safety because the person, the professionals that take care of the patient will have access to all the required information. One of the potential benefits of ORS is that we can help manage patients in their local hospitals who don't actually need to be transferred to Oxford. That has huge benefits not only to the patients and their family and carers, but also to the NHS as a whole in terms of the resources that are required in a specialist centre. So we're sharing our our knowledge across the network in the most efficient way possible. I am able to keep track of all the referrals that have been made by my unit and this can help me make uh, decisions about the sort of uh, distribution of pathology that we're seeing and have a much more informed conversation about the relationship between our services which we certainly did not have before. ORS is a great example of innovation that was created uh, within the Academic Health Sciences Network uh, involving a lot of the partners uh, from the network to develop a unique solution for a unique problem which is trying to share information across organizational boundaries. Even with our referral network for neurosurgery where there are 10 different hospitals involved, each potentially has a different provider of their electronic health care record system. What ORS does is, is allow those boundaries to be bridged. So our development process for this was, has been user-centred from the start. We feel only by doing it in that way was it going to be a system that met the needs of people who are going to be using it on the ground. So the important thing is that when they come to use the system, they can accomplish their goals as efficiently as possible. We made sure that we met the different user groups as part of our design process and understand their different needs, motivations, behaviours and expectations. With ORS, the data is at our fingertips. We can see if there are differences in patterns of referral and data week from location to location, and we can try and adapt our processes to optimise the care we give to patients. We're hoping to work in partnership with the hospital trusts to see if there are commercial opportunities outside Oxford to take the application into other hospitals, other centres of excellence and effectively develop a large user base using a similar software product but learning from different centres on how to make sure the application is as efficient and effective and indeed as safe as possible. At this point in time ORS is being used for exchanging information between acute hospitals but in the future the same concept can be used to exchange patient information across the continuum of care for patients all the way from GP practices to acute hospitals, community hospitals, social care in the future.